what's up everybody we are back and we're going to do a uh, movie review for you uh, this we're going to cover um, this one's going to cover um, Magnificent Seven and Hands of Stone um, and so yeah Magnificent Seven Hands of Stone <laughs> I was going to say something you know kind of witty there, but, eh, I lost it, so, here we go, um, Hands of Stone, um, I enjoyed it, I thought it was really well done, um, I like, uh, biographical pictures and pictures based on true events, um, so, you know, I thought it was really well done, um, the story of Hands of Stone if you do not know, is the story of famed 70s and 80s boxer Roberto Hands of Stone Duran, and the man was just killer in his day. Um, this movie basically takes a look at his life and, like, you know, talks about his life. Um, you know, growing up, you know, literally having to steal food for him and his family in Panama, and his boxing trainer finds him and, like, trains him to box, and he ends up, uh, you know, getting a shot at, um, Sugar Ray Leonard, and their series of fights went on to be some of the best fights to ever be known in boxing, and, um, you know, it go, tells the story from, uh, Durant's perspective, it also, uh, gives a little bit of the story from, uh, Ray Leonard's perspective, so it's very, very, um, um, it's a very, very good, um, adaptation as, uh, biopics go, and I like the fact that it told the story of these two fighters from each perspective, because most uh, most biopics or picks that are based on true events will only tell you. Um, from one side or the other. Most won't take the time to tell you uh, the story kind of from both sides. So I really did enjoy that. And um, Usher Raymond did really well in this movie. Uh, played Sugar Ray Leonard. And he did so, so well um, in this movie. You should definitely check this one out. Uh, it's four and a half leaves out of five. And definitely check it out, um, and then we have The Magnificent Seven, uh, with Ethan Hawke, um, and Denzel Washington, now this is a remake of the Yul Brenner, uh, Jimmy Stewart, Steve McQueen classic, um, and usually remakes aren't very good, but in this case, um, Feel like that is this one is the exception to the rule. Um, I'm not going to go into too much about what happens because um, I want people to actually see this one, but I will tell you this it is as authentic a Western for modern times as I have ever seen. Uh, people that know me know that I like like old spaghetti westerns and. You know, I have a freaking box set of Clint Eastwood movies because they're spaghetti westerns um, <coughs> from, like, the 60s and 70s. So, um, but in this case, this is a movie that is, for a modern interpretation, one of the best westerns I have ever seen in my life. Um, because
just basically the magnificent seven what it is it's a bunch of badass dudes that um you know they're not white knights they're not you know they're not good dudes um i kind of um equated to the Suicide Squad. They're not good dudes, but they team up to um, right some wrongs that are being done to people. Um, but it's definitely well worth watching the best modern interpretation of a true Western movie that I have ever seen in my life. Uh, it's going to be 5 movies out of 5. Highest possible recommendation check this out it's well worth spending the two hours and 15 minutes uh to watch the movie um you guys will enjoy it if you don't you can kick me in the shins later <laughs> anyway um that being said um we're gonna go for now we'll be back later thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for uh fostering the creativity and uh you know without y'all i couldn't do what i do so appreciate the support